What's going on, Sniping for Dom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there? How the hell are you guys doing today? Dom, you want to say hi? Uh, today's Wednesday. I'm taking Dom back. And there's something that I'm going to do a video on today is how many people need laughter in their life. There's a big part of my job that I usually tend to um, think about other people's happiness over mine. So I'm going to go out and ask the public. You know, tonight's pool league for me and where I get wasted, so I'm gonna go out, ask the public, and see what they think about, you know, being with someone that makes them laugh, if it's really a key component, if um, if they could deal without laughter for the rest of their life. There's something that I've been through uh, here recently, and it's just, just kinda eating me up a little bit, but it is what it is, so we're gonna find out what everyone else's opinions are. So I just got out of the shower, on my way to Fiddle Six uh, right now. Gonna shoot around in the pool league for a little bit, ask some of the people in the pool league what they think about, you know, the key to life is laughter basically. And then uh, we'll get a little bit drunker through the night and see what comes into play. All right, I'm here with my man Lamont. Lamont, I have a question for you tonight, okay? Uh, Lamont is a fantastic pool player, by the way. He plays in the league that I play in. You're fantastic. He's good. Don't let him lie to you. Um, how vital or imperative do you think it is to have life, like uh, laughter in your life, and how has it helped you cope with anything maybe in the past? Well, if I didn't have uh, laughter in my life or have a sense of humor, there's no way I could uh, really carry on. I mean, there's there's some bad moments in your life. You oh, have yeah. ups, you have downs, but yet, you know what keeps you sane is having a sense of humor. You know, I mean, I feel good where I work at. I'm the oldest one there, but I feel like I'm the youngest one in the accident. That's awesome, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people are uptight about it and yeah. everything like that. And oh, yeah. maybe they're the ones that are uh, having a lot more problems than what us that maybe struggle more that we yeah, think. Right. But we also have that sense of humor as well. Right. Well, we all need an outlet and all this and that. And that's uh, one of the things that I like and I really enjoy is speaking to someone that I don't know for the first time. I'll carry on a conversation with anybody. That's right. And you, you know right away, you just you just kind of click with that individual. I was going to say, the first time that I met Labonte, I think I was talking about give him a blowjob in the bathroom, and you, like, kept going on. Really? We just kept talking. <laughs> now you're like, damn it, what yeah. happened? Uh, you, <laughs> but no, no. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is a, is a huge part, and I think some mm. people tend to forget to... Uh, you know, to laugh sometimes, and it That's gets right. pretty rough sometimes, so. That's right. Yeah. I know. We all have our bad days. That's right. I'm here with Taylor. Taylor, the question of the day is, how important, vital, imperative, whatever you want to say, is, do you think that laughter is to intertwine with, like, your life, or if there ever been a dark time that, like, comedy or, or laughter from your friends or stuff has helped you get by? I'm a very angry person, so... You're an angry person? Always. No always way. Always in a bad mood. I'm not a morning person. Like, I'm For always real? in a bad mood at work, and if someone makes me laugh, it's like, it's like, it's like it really helps me get through my shit. I have my yeah, like, sure. one friend I work with. He always is, just gives me the stupidest jokes or whatever and puts a smile on my face, <laughs> and it just makes my whole day better. So laughter's definitely imperative, for sure. It releases endorphins in your brain, and it's just very... Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm with my boy Alex. You guys all know Alex. If you don't, you can catch him. On, know. You already know. You can catch him on the man show, which is usually every Friday night when we get drunk and blasted. Alright, Alex, um, basically the question of the day is, and I'm trying to find out from a lot of people, how important, how vital, or imperative that, you know, laughter is to intertwine into your, your daily, you know, life, or if there's ever been a time for you that you've been in a dark place that, like, comedy or someone, a friend that was just crazy that made you laugh, like, how important is that to you? I think it's, friendship-wise, it's the number one thing. I feel like I look for, like, all of my best friends are the ones who make me just laugh uncontrollably. And I think a good example of when laughing is really important is when you're just, like, having the worst day of your fucking life, and you're just really mad, and someone says something that makes you want to laugh, and you're mad that you want to laugh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just want to be like, no, I'm supposed to be mad right now. <laughs> they can just ruin all that. Those are but... sometimes some of the best laughs, though. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, 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 you're just like, you literally can't control it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, it's a, laughter's the best medicine, like the age-old saying, I think it can really help you get through a lot of different things, and people who just 
just don't laugh. Just I just I don't know any people that are like that because like I love to laugh. I feel like that's the most important thing, like socially for sure. Yeah, yeah. they can look for it. And girlfriend, wife, anything like that, they can help with it. If you don't laugh, like, what are you doing? Yeah. All right. So the question is. How important do you think that it is to like intertwine laughter into your life? And is there any experiences that you've had recently that basically you laughter has helped you get through whatever? Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. Like, you gotta, you just, you just gotta have fun. If you don't have fun and just laugh, then you're just sitting, you're just sitting there depressed all day. Right. Just have fun, just laugh, go get a couple of drinks. Play some pool. Right. Just do whatever you want that just makes you have fun. If you just sit around doing nothing, you're gonna be just lonely, bored, whatever. Go out, have fun, laugh, hang out with friends, do what you love to do, and you're good. So I'm here with my girl Tiffany. You guys all know her from the Man Show or other vlogs. Tiffany, how important is it to basically intertwine laughter into your life. Do you think it's like a key thing? Do you need it in a relationship? Do you need it in just regular life? Yes, to all of the above. All of the above. It's literally the most important thing. Really? You think yeah, it's the most important thing? Absolutely. Okay, I'm there too. I'm like, like if, if I'm not laughing or smiling, what's the point? That's true. That's very true. Like I can't not have it. Period. The end. <laughs> period. Period. The end. <laughs> Adam, how imperative is it to throw laughter into your life, or has there ever been a dark place that you ever come across that laughter or comedy has helped you get out of that dark place? Yeah, every funeral I've ever been to. Like, that's awesome. I haven't heard this answer yet, so can you elaborate for just a second? Yeah, it's it's hard to deal with that shit, so I laugh about the shit. Yeah. It's dark. It's twisted. But it's it gets you through the fucking shit. Hell yeah, that's very true. That's awesome to hear something like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything but, else you want to say? Oh yeah, fucking laughter makes the world go around. That's right. If you if you ain't laughing, you ain't living. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way, man. I don't think uh, a lot of people don't know how to take me. I'm always trying to put smiles on people's faces. Yeah, you put a smile on my face. Every time I see <laughs> a lot of people are like, "What the fuck is this guy talking about?" Like, and that's my whole goal. I just want them to be like, "All right, this dude's fucked up or something. Something's going on." But as long as they smile, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Like you or me, anyone that we see, someone may have just lost, like you said, death. They may have just lost their own mom, and they're crushed. Yeah. But they're out trying to, you know, get by. You so. put a smile on their face and makes them get by a little That's easier. Right. Pat. All right, so the question of the day is if you were to involve, find yes, find Jesus. Have you found Jesus? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not, you're not sure yet? Graham Cracker might be a real. <laughs> you know. Your grandma is Jesus? I can't. She's the nicest lady. She's Jesus reincarnated. <laughs> All right, Way for real. <laughs> yeah, I know. For real, for real, for real. Yes, I do. All right, for real, for real. To ask a question, right? How imperative is it How when? How imperative are you? Very imperative. Jesus Christ! <laughs> How imperative is it to involve to laughter into your life? Has there ever been a time where you were like really depressed or anything like that? That either comedy or s your friends or something that were, you know bringing laughter to your life that help you through anything like how important do you think it is to the world laughter is good for the soul it leads to jesus laughter leads to jesus it makes you feel good how good real good real good not as good no <laughs> i can't with this fucking kid jesus christ <laughs> see jesus right there you're jesus laughing about jesus christ i'm here with dave Sorry. Dave has uh, been my sexual lover for the past He's 30, your brother, damn it. 37 years. And uh, Dave, I the question of the day is how important, vital, imperative, whatever you want to say, is, you know, it, it, like bringing laughter into <laughs> your life or someone else's life so or serious. the world. Come on, laugh at me. Um... If I didn't have a good sense of humor, I'd have probably killed myself and or others. Uh, when, when you live a life like ours, you, you have to come at it with a, with an amount of levity. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll just eat you up and there's there's just no getting past that. That is true. Has there ever been a, like, could you remember any time that you were in a dark place that, um, that 
comedy or a friend that was very comedic, you know, like push you through? Has there ever been a time like that? Maybe not a specific instance, okay. but uh, maybe more through uh, through combined efforts. Uh, you know, getting through that, having a balance of being able to take care of the issues at hand, but also having people around to be able to to help alleviate that burden. Okay. Uh, Jesus All right. Pat, still, I can't with that. <laughs> Have an adventure, head in the cloud, mama grab it and send her. Touch my neck and I'll touch yours. You and those little high waisted shorts. Oh, she knows what I think about. And when I think about it, one love, two mouths, one love, one house. No shirt, no blouse, just us to find out. No, no, oh, cause it's too cold. Whoa, for you here. So let me go, whoa, both your hands in the holes of my sweater. And if you take my breath away, I don't mind if it's not much to say. Or sometimes silence guides the mind, you took place so far away. The goose from start to race, the little woman I hand me to waste. And then I watch your face, but my finger tongue gives you love the taste, yeah. These hearts are dark, everyone that ever biggest heart is for. Outside the stuff before, outside the stuff before. Find out another rule I tell you about. No, 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 cause it's too cold Whoa, for you here and now. So let me go. Oh, put your hands in the holes on my sweater. It's too cold So much sniping for down fans and all you big big sexy supporters out there thank you once again if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment on it as it does help aid me to keep going on in my youtube career also don't forget i do stream every single day on youtube around 11 or 11 30 a.m eastern time zone if you've enjoyed this video make sure you go and check some of my other videos out i love you guys have a great fucking day Mwah!